All right, once again, Chris Wilson at Nissan Midland slinging it, winging it. Unscripted, unrehearsed, uh, doing a continuation video. Um, as you saw the time earlier when I uh, started the, uh, started the uh, Armada, it appears to be pretty well for the most part. It's uh, defrosted down. Let's just do a quick look here. Basically, you know, you don't need an ice scraper. You just wipe that off with your hand or a towel. Look at that. Winter wipers will take all this off. Look at that. Before is a sarcophagus of ice. Right now, you're, you're, uh, you're, you'll be hopping into Armada from about uh, oh, 20, middle 20 degrees to nice and warm. But, you know, hey, you know, again, like remember said, if you said, say you forgot your ice scraper, just take a towel or a fist or a glove, newspaper and whatnot, and it's going to easily scrape off. But you got the main important stuff, uh, your driver's side and your passenger front windows, so you can use your mirrors. You got your mirror defrosts. Look at that. Look at that. This is your time it is. 10.56. So, from a very practical standpoint, that's one nice thing about this Armada. Uh, it doesn't take very long to defrost. Remember, like I said, icy. Let's see here. Here we go. Watch this. Boom. Boom. Look, winter wipers are knocking that off. Get a little assist from the winter wiper fluid. Or, you know, you can go outside and uh, knock that little piece of ice off or it'll slide off as you go down the road. Another cool winter feature that you're really going to appreciate. Look at that. You got four-wheel drive, so you got auto, four-wheel drive, and four low. So uh, yeah, the auto means basically the car is in, basically this here is an all-wheel drive vehicle where uh, the tires, uh, the computers will sense the slippage for the tires and uh, it'll compensate as needed for each individual tire. Or you can shift to four high on the fly. If it's really bad or if it's even worse, you go into a four low to get you out of a little trouble and you can tow that trailer. And oh yeah, check it out, snow motor. So that keeps you in a lower gear so you don't spin out and all that. Uh, and I don't know, I'm not sure, no one knows exactly why you turned that off. Um, everything right here controls everything you see up there. Check this out. Boom, expanded. This also comes with Apple and Android uh, CarPlay. You can charge your phone right there. Uh, most of the other chargers. Most of your other phone chargers in our competition, uh, it'll be a thing like right here. And how is that safe? Nissan made it better. So let's see here. Placed in here again, if you can hear me. It's a Note 10 uh, with a battery Mophie, and it totally fits. Now let's pull it out. Hopefully you heard me. Uh, hopefully you all were scared of the dark. Ah. And just, it secures shut like that. Uh, again, his and hers, hot and or cold, dual climate control. Uh, like I said, this here is on uh, uh, defrost. Again, I want to show you this, standard features on all the Armadas. Heated seat, I love that feature, especially when it's warm. The only downside is you never want to get out of your car once you get to where you're going. <laughs> uh, so let's change this up by, oh wow, there's rear frost. Okay, cool. Uh, looking for the mode button, bear with me, I'm a little bit new to this. There we go. Ah, here we go, perfect, there we go, got it. Again, I'm a little new to it, but hey, we just saw we figured it out. 
One thing I like about the Nissans is they're intu the controls and features, they're intuitive. Uh, they're relatively easy to figure out for the most part. What you see is what you push. You don't have to go, you don't have to hit like settings, mode, alternative mode, just for something stupid and simple, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of these other cars you do. Ch uh, oops, there you go. And check out your screen, a 12 inch screen here. Easy to shrink, you know, what you see is what it is, real common sense like, you know what I mean? Push button start. Uh, remote start. Rear gate lift. Look at this here. Everything you need is in simple reach. Don't have to hunt for all the important stuff. You got your pro pilot right here. You got you know, your cruise control stuff right here. You got uh, your interval maintainer. That keeps you upwards of 50 yards away from the, uh, about 50 meters away from the car in front of you. So when it taps the brakes, you'll tap the brakes. Don't quite recommend the cruise control uh, on this kind of weather though. That's just me though. Um, all your phone stuff right here. All your entertainment related stuff right here. Your information that reads off right here. By pushing this button. This is one solid opportunity that uh, Nissan has uh, given you. The other great thing that Nissan did when they redesigned this here of uh, Armada, let me show you some of the back seat. Boom. Oh, sorry. Here's the back seat. This here, the, you know, this particular SV is a bench. Yeah, there's the third row. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, when Nissan redesigned this, they did not re redesign the price or raise it really, if at all. Uh, Nissan realizes that the best advertising is cars on the street, so they took their advertising budget by not spending their advertising budget for this. They passed the savings on to you, the customer. I'm going to show you a couple features around back. And once again, I appreciate you uh, sticking around through the full length of this uh, video. Uh, oh, look at that. Oops, sorry. Another way to make sure your mirrors don't get frozen is you fold those in right there and there by pushing this button here. Boom, boom. There. A little bit about under the hood. It is a 5.6 liter V8 with a, um, a 390 horsepower engine and with the uh, optional uh, 400 horsepower when you add the um, premium fuel, which I recommend for, you know, when you're pulling that trailer, you know, put in some premium. But it's not required to always have premium once you put in the premium gas. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's see here. Let's shut this off and I'll show you around back. Back out of the cold because I will do, because I do that for you. And bear in mind, it's... Uh, yeah, about 25 degrees, and I'm wearing just a polo. Why am I not cold? Because cold's nothing more than the state of mind. Just a little icy, though, outside. Got to be extra careful. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, there you go. Independent rear heat. And that cool feature. I'll show it to you again. Push this button. Cool, huh? And uh, yes, we will put down the floor mats. Cup holders, by the way. I've said it once and many times before. Nissan's have more cup holders than any other vehicle by classification. Bear with me as I step up on this uh, thing that's icy. Ah! Push the button, this raises up on its own. Woo! Got some cool stuff back here. We got you some floor mats. Uh, we got your net. We have you right there with a Velcro landing, a uh, first aid kit, another one of many power ports. Uh, you have a power reclining seat right there. No, correction, not correction, correction. Some of them do. This pulls a tab to recline. I'll show you. Or throw it forward. So you got to pull tab, reach forward. Pull the tab. Goes forward. Reclines back. Ah. 
And for you Star Wars fans, a little reference there for you. Hold on a second here. Yeah. Easy drop down. Again, Nissan's all about safety. My arm is in here. Up, up, up it goes. Almost just a skin mark. Close it again. The uh, rear gate, you can program it. Uh, and uh, so yeah, the rear gate's programmable. I appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. Um, no, I don't have any goofy graphics or sound effects or assistance to boom ball and bling bling bloom. Why? I don't need that. That's just a crush for the uninformed and whatnot. And those who don't know about the product, I do, so I don't need it. Once again, Chris Wilson at Nissan Millen, slinging it, winging it, unscripted, unrehearsed, and knowledgeable on the subject matter. Thank you all. Come down and see us at Nissan Millen in Millen, Texas. Do not hesitate to hit me up. Call me, text me, 432 488 9334. Hit me up in the comment box below on the YouTube, when it's supposed to YouTube, Facebook. Hit me up with the Facebook Messenger. Thank you very much. You all have a good day. Bye-bye.